Today we're making a drawstring pouch from Heart Granny Squares. This little pouch takes just under two hours to make and is perfect for gifts or holding your everyday essentials. If you don't need the extra tips throughout the video and just want the written pattern, or if it'll help you follow along, you can find it on my website vivcrochets.com. For this project, I used some scrap yarn, Karen Big Cakes in Toffee Brickle, and Red Heart Super Saver in White. They are both medium weight acrylic yarn, so I'll be using a 5mm hook, some scissors, and a yarn needle. First, we'll start with the granny square. So we're going to make a slip knot, and to make a slip knot, place the yarn over the palm of your hand with the tail end at the bottom. Hold the yarn with your thumb, and make sure this tail is at least a few inches long. Then wrap it around two fingers to form an X, and hook it around your pinky. Insert your hook under one side of the X, then over and grab the other side and pull it through. Remove your fingers and tighten the knot. Then we'll chain four. To chain, yarn over and pull through. Again, yarn over and pull through. Then we'll do two more for a total of four. And if it's hard to fit round one in this loop, you can chain five instead. So here are our four chains and we're going to slip stitch to the first chain we made. So insert your hook through the V of the first chain and go under the loop behind the V as well. So you're under these two loops. Then with your thumb and middle finger, pinch the tail end and the chains together and pull them away from your hook. Then yarn over, pull through, and pull through the loop on your hook. And tighten the slip stitch. And now you should be pinching the center of the loop we just formed. To start round one, chain three. And this counts as our first double crochet. Then we're going to do 11 more double crochets into the ring. To do a double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook into the ring, yarn over, pull through. Now you should have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through just two loops, then yarn over and pull through the last two loops. Again, yarn over, insert your hook into the ring, Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. Then we'll do nine more for a total of 12 double crochets. Now we have 12 double crochets and you can count them by the V's on top of each stitch or the posts. And remember that the chain three counts as the first double crochet. Now we're going to slip stitch to the first stitch to close the round. So here's our chain three and we're going to slip stitch to the top of it. So insert your hook into that third chain, yarn over, pull through, and pull through the loop on your hook and tighten it. And we'll do that at the end of every round. Now that round one is done, we can close the hole in the middle by pulling on the loose end. Now we'll start round two. Without chaining, we're going to do 8 treble crochets into the 3rd stitch. So we're going to skip this first stitch, the one we just slip stitched to. Then we'll skip the one after it. And this one is the one we'll work into. To do a treble crochet, yarn over twice. Insert your hook into that 3rd stitch. So through the front, under the V and out the back. Yarn over, pull through, and now you should have four loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. Again, to do a treble crochet, yarn over twice, insert your hook back into that same stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops three times. Then we'll do it six more times until we have eight total treble crochets. So now we should have eight treble crochets in this third stitch and we'll move on to the next stitch and make sure you slide the treble crochets over to the right so you don't miss the first stitch. And in this next stitch we'll do a double crochet. And again make sure you're going 
from the front, under the V, and out the back. Then we'll move on to the next stitch and do another double crochet. Then in the next stitch, we'll do a double crochet and a treble crochet. So first, our double crochet. Then we'll do a treble crochet in that same stitch. Now we'll chain one, and this chain marks the bottom point of the heart. And from here, we'll repeat those same stitches backwards to mirror the other half of the heart. So in the next stitch, we'll do a treble crochet and then a double crochet into that same stitch. Then a double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Then in the next stitch, we'll do eight treble crochets again. And now we should have two stitches left, the same amount we skipped in the beginning of this round, and we'll close this round with a slip stitch. To slip stitch this round, we'll insert our hook between our chain three and last stitch from last round. So through here, then yarn over, pull through, and pull through the loop on our hook, and tighten it. And now we can fasten off. So chain one, cut your yarn a few inches long, pull through with your hook, and tighten the knot. And now we have a heart. Now we're going to form the square around the heart, and this will have many stitches of varying heights. First we'll make a slip knot with our white yarn. Again, we'll place the yarn over the palm of our hand with the tail end at the bottom. Hold the yarn with your thumb and make sure this tail is at least a few inches long. Then wrap the top around two fingers to form an X and hook it around your pinky. Insert your hook under one side of the X, then over and grab the other side and pull it through. Remove your fingers, tighten the knot, and take it off your hook. Then insert your hook into the fourth treble crochet we made last round. This is the top left corner of the square. So here is the first, second, third, and here's the fourth. So insert your hook through that stitch, place the slip knot back on your hook, tighten it on your hook, and pull it through the stitch. And now we can start round three. First we'll chain three, and again this counts as our first double crochet. And we'll do a double crochet into this same stitch. These two double crochets are only half of the top left corner, and we'll finish the other half at the end of the round. Then we'll do a half double crochet into the next stitch. To do a half double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through. Now you should have three loops on your hook, and yarn over and pull through all three loops. Then in the next stitch, we'll do a single crochet. So insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through the two loops on your hook. Next is another half double crochet. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through all three loops. Then a double crochet. then a treble crochet. Then in the next stitch, we'll do two treble crochets into that same stitch.
chain two, then two more treble crochets into that stitch. And this forms the bottom left corner of the square. Then we'll continue with a double crochet, then a half double crochet, Then we should reach the chain one space at the bottom point of the heart. And in this chain one space, we'll do a single crochet. So insert your hook into that chain one space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through the two loops. Now we'll continue those same stitches backwards to mirror the other side. The next stitch might be hiding under the single crochet we just made, so make sure you don't miss it. We'll do a half double crochet, then a double crochet, Then in the next stitch, two trebles, chain two, and two trebles, all in one stitch. and that forms the bottom right corner of the square. And continue with a treble crochet, then a double crochet, then a half double crochet, single crochet, and half double crochet. Then the next stitch will have two double crochets. Chain two and two double crochets to form the top right corner. Now we'll finish the top of the square. And we'll do a half double crochet in the next stitch. Then we're going to combine the next two stitches with a double crochet two together. So start a double crochet in the next stitch, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, then pause. Then we'll start another double crochet in the next stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, then yarn over and pull through all three loops. Then we're going to do a treble crochet in the middle. And this is the same space we slip stitched to at the end of last round. We'll yarn over twice, insert our hook between the chain three and last stitch of round one, and complete our treble crochet. Then we'll do another double crochet two together. So again, start a double crochet in the next stitch, but stop after pulling through the first two loops. Then start another double crochet in the next stitch, stopping after pulling through the first two loops, and yarn over and pull through all three loops. Then the next stitch will have a half double crochet and we should reach the very first stitch of the round and we'll complete the corner to match the other side with two double crochets and chain two. Then we'll slip stitch to the top of the three chains. And now we should have nine stitches on each side of the square with two chains in each corner. And we can start round four. First, we'll chain three and do a double crochet into the chain two space below. 
So this counts as two double crochets into the chain two space. Then we'll do a double crochet into each of the nine stitches on the side of the square. And make sure you don't miss the first one, which is the top of the chain three from last round. And in the next chain two space corner, we'll do two double crochets chain two, and two more double crochets. And we'll do nine double crochets along the next side. And again, make sure you don't miss the first one. And again, in the corner, we'll do two double crochets Chain two and two more double crochets. And we're going to continue double crocheting along the sides and doing those two doubles, chain two, two doubles into the corners. For the very last corner, we'll complete it with two double crochets and chain two. Then we'll slip stitch. Now we should have 13 stitches on each side of the square with two chains in each corner. And we can fasten off by chaining one, cutting our yarn a few inches long, pulling through with our hook, and tightening the knot. And here is our heart granny square. And if you want, you can repeat the last round to make a slightly larger square. Now we'll make another heart granny square, but keep your yarn attached. Now we're going to stitch the squares together. And we'll connect the two squares using single crochets, but this stitching method can be substituted with another you prefer, such as slip stitches or sewing. So we're going to flip the fasten off square so the wrong side is facing up. Place the working square directly on top of the fastened off square with both hearts right side up. Now we will be going through the stitches in both squares when we single crochet. First, we'll do a single crochet through the top left corners of both squares. So without chaining, insert your hook through the corner space of the top square and through the corner space of the bottom square. Then yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through the two loops. So now the corners are connected with a single crochet. Then we'll move on to the side of the square. So we'll go through the stitch on the top square, then the stitch on the bottom square, and complete our single crochet. And we'll continue doing that for the next 12 stitches along the side. And now in the corner, we'll do four single crochets through both squares in this corner. Then we'll continue along the side for 13 stitches and do four single crochets in the next corner. Then we'll do the third side and after the third side we'll do just one single crochet into the last corner. So now three of the sides should be connected with 49 single crochets with an opening at the top. Now we're going to extend the pouch by working along the top. First, we'll slip stitch into the corner of the top square. Then we'll chain three and double crochet into the same chain two space below. Then we'll double crochet along the 13 stitches across. And in the next corner, we'll do two double crochets. And 
and now we'll turn the pouch over and start working along the top of the other square. So we'll do two double crochets into the corner. Then 13 double crochets along the top. And two into the last corner. Then we'll slip stitch to close the round. And we should have 34 total double crochets. To start the next round, we'll chain three. And this counts as the first double crochet, so we can move on to the next stitch and do another double crochet. And we'll continue the 34 double crochets all around. And we'll slip stitch to close the round. For this next round, we'll create the spaces for our drawstring. And we'll start with chain four, which counts as a double crochet and chain one. Then we'll skip a stitch, and in the next, we'll do a double crochet. and chain one. And we'll continue by skipping the next stitch and double crocheting into the one after it and chaining one and we'll do that all the way around. Once we have eight chain one spaces, we're going to repeat the pattern. Without chaining, we'll do a double crochet, so there's no space between the two stitches on the side of the pouch. Then we'll continue along by chaining one, skipping a stitch, double crocheting. We should complete the round with a double crochet in the last stitch. And slip stitch to the third chain. Make sure you leave one chain on the left. So now you should have 16 chain 1 spaces. For the last round, we'll chain 3 and do a double crochet into the chain 1 space. Then in the stitch, then in the chain space. And we'll do it all around for 34 total double crochets. And we'll slip stitch. And we'll fasten off by chaining one, cutting our yarn a few inches, pulling through with our hook, and tightening the knot. Now we're going to make the strings. We'll make a slip knot with a short loose end. and chain the length of the string we want. I did 50 chains and if you fold it in half, it is a few centimeters longer than the width of the pouch. And we can cut the yarn short, pull through with our hook and tighten the knot. And we'll make another string. Before we put in our drawstrings, we should weave in our loose ends. So turn your pouch inside out and thread one of the loose ends into your needle. And to hide it, we'll go up to a row of stitches. And go under the stitches in the row. Then pull the yarn through. Go up to another row and go under the stitches in the other direction. Then we can go up again and repeat if you still have more yarn. Then snip off the remaining loose end and hide your other ends.
Now we can turn the pouch back with the right side out and we'll be inserting our strings to make the drawstring. For this part, it might be easier to use a larger hook. So we're going to pull one string halfway through the holes at the end and through both layers. Then we'll weave half the string over and under the double crochets. Once we reach the end, we should come out between the two double crochets next to each other along the side of the pouch. Then we'll flip the pouch and repeat with the other half of the string. And it should come out of the same space. And make sure the ends of the strings are even. Now we'll take the other string and pull it halfway through the opposite starting side. And we'll weave it over and under the double crochets. and pull it out between the two double crochets on the side of the pouch. Then we'll flip it over and do the same with the other half of the string. Now we can tie the ends together and trim the loose ends evenly. And if you tug on the strings on both sides, the pouch should close. And that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.